Hey, what's happening, guys? Take a look <clears throat> at this circuit here. Pretty simple. This is a 2N2222 bipolar junction transistor, and it is set up with the emitter on the right, the base in the middle, and the collector on the left. This is a 1K resistor feeding into the emitter, and it is also feeding a 1000 microfarad capacitor, which goes to ground. And then from the collector, we have a red LED with its anode going to the collector and its cathode going to the cathode of our capacitor, which are grounded. But there's nothing attached to the base. The base is just floating. So really, you have two options here, right? Either it'll turn on or it won't turn on. There can't be any in the middle. Am I right? Well, what do we got here? It's blinking. And if you come over here and take a look, there's 10 volts. Let me see if I can bring this all over here so you can see the whole thing. Okay, there's 10 volts. And if I turn the voltage down, say to 9 volts, it looks like it's shut off. It really hasn't shut off. There's still a little glow there. But this feature, function, whatever you want to call it, in my particular case, you can see it's blinking quite well there, only happens from 10 volts up. Now, what if we take it to 11 volts? Well, at 11 volts, it's blinking even faster. What about 12 volts? What's well, faster still? Any heat? No. So why? Uh, you know what's really weird? It's, it's blinking steadily, and you're getting like a blink, 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 blink. That's just a function of the camera. It's blinking steadily. So do you have any idea why this is happening? Nothing going on there. Let's uh, take our voltage back down to 10 volts. And if I were to put something in the base, what if I touch it? It is blinking. I don't know why the camera's not wanting to show it. Changes the uh, the speed of the blink a little bit. And what if we go positive? Nothing. So, why is this working? Anybody have any ideas yet? Alright, well, you can see I've hooked up the probes for the oscilloscope to the collector output on that transistor which is also the anode there on the LED so let's zoom up here and we'll take a look at the waveform and what do we see looks like it's uh look the frequency is just jumping all over the place but it's somewhere around 4.5 hertz, give or take. And if we zoom out a little bit further, you should be able to see. Yeah. So if you take a look here, we've got like a slow charge, then a quick ramp up, then we zoom out. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's pause this. So we've got a slow charge ramping up here, then a spike on, 
a somewhat slow discharge till it drops off completely and goes back up. It's an interesting waveform. Let's take a look at the opposite side of the circuit and we'll connect this to the uh, collector side, or no, the emitter side rather that would be, which in this case is our input side. I know that's really strange. So you're not seeing too much from there. A little bit of a sawtooth waveform. So I guess the big question that we ask ourselves here would be, why? Why is this happening with a transistor hooked up backwards? You know? What, what exactly is going on there? Well, what's happening is we're entering a region of negative resistance. I know negative resistance, it doesn't exist. It's kind of like, uh, I always get these two confused, centripetal and centrifugal force. The one that throws you out from the center. It's a pseudo force. It doesn't really exist. The negative resistance doesn't really exist. But we're entering a pseudo region of negative resistance on here. And then we're simply using the capacitor to charge and discharge. I mean, that's what you're seeing right there. Charge, discharge, charge, discharge. And uh, what's really interesting is, is the voltage. You know, you have to have enough voltage to do that. And that's, that's another kind of a why thing. So right now we're at 10 volts. Let me uh, take this up to 12 volts. Now there we are at 12 volts. You can see the LED is blinking considerably faster and of course now we're at what what's our frequency 120 42 10 146 25 see we're, we're we're kind of flopping all over there but let's take the voltage down there we are at 10 volts here we are at 9 volts now 9 volts you're not seeing any waveform at all I know you probably can't see that at all, but that LED is actually lit. Let's go back over and look at the other side of that circuit, which is the output side, which in this case is the collector of that 2N2222. And I'm going to take the voltage back up to 10 volts. You can see our LED is blinking. Let's get our waveform back on there. There we go. Let's uh, take the voltage up again. There's 13 volts. Looks like we're getting solid 12.3 uh, hertz. And that looks about right. Okay, so we just got to figure out what are we breaking down? What are we reaching the breakdown voltage of? What characteristic of that transistor are we reaching the breakdown voltage of that is allowing it to fall into the region of negative resistance? Well, what is happening here? Let me energize that again. Is it, like I said, we're entering a region of negative resistance. It's called the NDR region, negative differential resistance. And if we were to look at a curve tracer, I don't have a curve tracer. But if we were to look at a curve tracer, um, what we would see is the current falls as the voltage increases. That's just really weird for, you know, an IC like this. One place in electronics where you will see this, and it is regularly used, is a tunnel diode, also called an Isaki diode. And 
they are able to operate incredibly fast because of this effect. What we have here is, you know, we have 12, 12 hertz. That's nothing. But you can get into the gigahertz region <clears throat> with tunnel diodes. And it's all because of a, a pseudo force called negative resistance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you and you and you. Not you. You complain too much. But the rest of you. I'm just kidding. Even you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.